Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy and development in Nigeria and around the world. In this video we are going to talk about the reason why the federal government of Bola Metinubo is mad with the former governor of River State and former minister of transportation, Rati Michibi Kamichi. That's what we are going to talk about in this video. Why the federal government is mad with Chibika Rotimi Amechi. Now before we go further on this, if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you will be among the first to know. God bless you. Now, the federal government of Nigeria led by President Bola Metinubu has criticized Chibi Karatimi Amechi for calling on Nigerian youths to rise up and protest against the ongoing hardship in the country, a hardship that is crippling every way of life that Nigerians know before. In an interview, he expressed disappointment the way Nigerians are responding to the hardship, particularly the youths. And uh, this is what Rotimi Amechi said that angered the presidency. He said, and I quote, I expected more agitation. No, he was talking to a, a TV station about the state of the nation, about the hardship in the country and all that. He said, I expected more agitation especially from, from the youth. I thought we would see protests in the streets, but it seems people are not expressing the kind of anger I expected. So they interpreted this as inciting the youths, and they use all kinds of unprintable language To, to address the matter. Now, what did he say that made the bank so angry? He said that the youths, that he had expected them to be more angry than they were. Because he was saying, from the way people are complaining, from the situation of the country, he was surprised that people are taking the situation lightly, they are not on the streets, he expected more people to be on the streets. But that is the reality that we see every day in Nigeria. But instead of addressing the reason why he said that they were just attacking him, insulting him, talking how he has been living on government all his life. Uh, he, uh, he rose from being uh, a lawmaker, rose from being speaker, to becoming governor, to become two-time minister, becoming whatever, and uh, that he has been living on government. But that is not the question. That's not the issue. He was talking about that, that Nigerian youths and Nigeria public are docile. But what he said is not even anything new that Nigerian people can endure. That was why Fela made a, a, a song, Fela of uh, uh, Afrobeat uh, fame, talk about suffering and smiling. So it has been a long time Nigerians are used to suffering and smiling. And the government understood this. So that's why they can, you can, you can see the wife of the president saying that her husband is not the reason why there is hardship in Nigeria. Because that's what they call sea finish. That's when you talk like that. You have to accept your fate. We are not responsible for why you are suffering. It is not our fault. So Amechi was talking about the way things are going in the country. 
he wasn't saying anything new. There are so many people who have expressed it, this kind of sentiment. And people see it every day. The truth of the matter is that if this hardship continues, it could eventually end up also leading to protests. Right now, we don't know the, the end of the recent increase in fuel price. Some people are already suggesting or fearing that by December, we may have even up to 2,000 Naira per liter of fuel. It is possible with what is going on in the, in the Middle East about Israel and Hamas and Hezbollah and all what not. But Amici made a valid observation that Nigerians seem to have reserved, uh, reserved themselves to fate, especially the youth. That's what he said. He said he expected them to, to do more than they are doing. But of course, we know that youth are also protest. They led the August protest, in which some of them are still uh, being held. Because at the end of the day, the protest was quote unquote hijacked and it turned violent. But you cannot, in a democracy, gag someone like uh, Amechi. Has the right to express his disappointment that people are not being proactive in terms of asking questions. But the way they are shouting him down indicates that they don't want people to talk. But if people don't talk and just to up all the things that are happening, it may lead to a protest that nobody will know the day it will erupt. So that's why it's even better than when people talk, you engage them, not by insult. Because if you read the statement that was shared by Bayon and Oga, the special advisor to the president of information and strategy, it is full of literally insultive words on our nature. All kinds of adjectives were used to insult the hell out of him just for stating how he sees the state of the nation. Ordinarily, you would have expected the presidency to take advantage of that statement to thank Nigerian youths who have been patient, waiting for a better days. They should have said that Nigerian youths, we appreciate your patience. We know that there are people who expected you to do more than you are doing in terms of challenging the state of the nation. People like Rotimi Amich, but we understand what you are passing through. Do not continue to be patient with us. Do not listen to Amechi and people like him who are inciting you to go beyond what you have done so far. The president has already said that he is going to arrange a national conference for the youths where you people will come up, come and tell your grievances and we will look into it. You know, a very measured statement. But going through the statement, the words they were I can't even use it in this uh, in this uh, channel. The words they were using to describe Amechi, the adjective they were used, they were using. It was uncalled very unpresidential that they could do that. You know, strangely. And interestingly, I mentioned to the, to the same political party with, uh, with the, the President Bola Metinubu. They are all members of the All Progressive Congress. I mentioned is a, it's a staunch member. For perhaps for those who don't know, I mentioned Kim was the only one that challenged Bola Metinubu in that election, I mean, uh, in, the, in the presidential primaries of the APC. I mentioned Kim. A, a, a reasonable second position. He beats 
uh, the vice president Yemi Osibanjo far far behind. So he is not a small fry in the, the APC. But for the APC government and the APC as a political party to react the way they did, they are creating more opportunities to suppress people from talking. But there will be the consequences is that if we are not talking like this, remember the protests that erupted in Niger, Kano, and other places that were spontaneous. Nobody knew who led those. It could happen again. And the government will not have no don't know who to run to. Because right now, those who want to protest, they used to tell you in advance. Show sure, they will give or tell that they are protesting so and so time. Other people will say they will do so and so. The hardship could get out of hand. Because already many people that they have gotten out of hand is just the typical Nigerian suffering and smiling that Fela talked about. That is the reason why we are having the quote and unquote, the peace we have in the country, despite all the hardship. I don't know what you think about the government's reaction to Amici's uh, statement, but whatever is your position on this, let's hear from you at the comment section. Thank you for watching this video, and if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell, Anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless. And please don't forget to like this video. Because when you like it, go go rank it hard and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.